what's up guys today i'm going to go through how to create this zoom through effect which is super cool to transition from one video clip to the next so here are my two video clips i want to transition between so if you have your video clips stabilized then the first thing you want to do is turn it into a compound clip so i'm just going to right click and go to new compound clip so the next thing I'm going to do is go to the frame on the video clip where I want to start zooming into it. And then I'm going to select the video clip, hold down shift and press H. That's going to create this freeze frame here. I'm just going to move the second video clip out of the way for now. So that's going to create this freeze frame. And then I'm just going to press B and split the video clip right where the freeze frame starts. And then I'm going to select the freeze frame and I'm going to go over to my effects tab and go down to mask and I'm going to Add on the draw mask and draw around the part that I want to zoom through. So I'm just going to click and add points and draw around the part that I want to zoom through. Then I'm going to select them, right click and go to smooth. So now if we go up to the parameters on this draw mask and click invert mask, we should be left with just a black hole and let's zoom out. So now I'm going to go over to the crop tool over here and just select the Ken Burns and then this red this red end square what I'm going to do is make it really small and put it inside the black hole that we just created and if you hold down command and click and drag then you can make this pretty accurate instead of it just um, locking on to the guidelines so around about there click done so now if I play this back it should zoom in to the mask that we made and if I open the crop back up you want to right click and make sure linear is ticked if i cut this freeze frame it will speed up the zoom and if i make it really small it make turns it into a really fast zoom so by cutting this freeze frame you can control the speed of the zoom and for this shot what i'm going to do is try and match the speed of the zoom with the speed of the video clip movement so it's a nice constant speed this way later on I can speed it up and it won't look too out of place okay so that looks pretty good so now from here if you wanted to create that like duplicate tunnel effect what you can do is copy and paste the freeze frame and just extend the one underneath and what it will do is create like a duplicate behind it which creates this pretty cool like tunnel effect so I'm going to create three copies of that and then I'm going to copy and paste this top video clip and on this one here what I'm going to do is go up to the draw mask and just click invert mask so that will bring back the other part of this video clip and then what I'm going to do is go to the start of it and I'm going to animate it on so we can go to the transform tool add a keyframe at the start and then just move forward about five or six frames and move this off maybe even rotate it a little bit so now if I play this back out of the way and then you might have to keyframe it right off the screen as well and if the animation is happening too quick you can also right click on that compound clip go to show video animation and then the keyframes for the animation will be shown here underneath transform and if you want to slow down the animation you can just drag these out so it will slow down the animation okay so now we have the whole video clip and the animation zoom through done what i'm going to do is select all of these right click and go to new compound clip click ok and then what I'm also going to do is add another additional scale keyframe. So which starts a bit earlier than the original animation. So I'm going to go to about here, go to the keyframe, go to the transform tool, hit the keyframe button, go to the end. And I'm just going to increase the scale by about 40%. And I'm also going to add a bit of rotation. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is select this and hold down command and press R. Now we can speed this video clip up if we wanted to, or we can add a speed ramp around about here. I'm going to hold down shift and press B. That's going to create this speed ramp so I can speed up the second half of the video clip. And then I'm going to drag these sliders out, which smooths out the speed transition. So now it speeds up into the transition. Now what I can do is bring in my second video clip and put it underneath. So now that will show underneath the first video clip. So now what I'm going to do is select the second video clip and go up to the scale keyframe. And I'm just going to add a keyframe on the scale. So this background video clip also looks like it's zooming forward. 
So I'm going to add a keyframe at 100%. As soon as one of these edges is exposed by the previous mask, and then I'm gonna to go to the start and I'm going to put the scale down to about 50%. So now this video clip looks like it comes from further back. So the final thing I'm going to do is add some motion blur to this. So I'm going to go up to my titles tab and go down to motion blur and motion blur doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave it linked down in the description. I'm going to drag on this moderate motion blur. And if I turn this on and off, you can see how it adds motion blur to the transition and it's going to give it a smoother look. And there we go. There is the finished transition, a super smooth zoom through transition. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, then please subscribe. Also check out my website, which has lots more Final Cut Pro plugins, transitions, and video effects. All the effects I use are from my website. So definitely check that out if you have the time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.